tweed run and cordings, we think there's a really good handshake. We're very honoured because the Chief Marshal um, is going to come and see us today. Looking the part is the most important thing. Of course, tweed is the, the, the key around which everything is built. I haven't been told the full story as yet, but uh, I, I, I do understand I'm being shown a few other outfits. So I'm uh, really excited and really looking forward to that. Hi, Simon. Hello. Looking all smart and ready to go. Now, let's just see what you've got on here. This is a brush cotton shirt, and they come in many different patterns. These patterns are derived from horse blankets in Newmarket, hence the name Tassel. He's wearing a waistcoat, or sometimes referred to as a vest, and he's correctly got the bottom button undone. Over the waistcoat, he's got an action back jacket, and if you just turn and face me, you can see that it has a gusset at the back, and this allows him to move his arm freely without being caught by your shoulder seam. Now, that's going to be very helpful when he's going to be on his bicycle ride, but traditionally, function for that was so that you could hold a uh, shotgun and shoot. It also has an interesting button here, so that the pocket can be held open, and you could have your cartridges in here. Lots of people talk about these trousers as breeks, plus twos, plus fours, and the reason that they're plus twos is because they fold two inches below the knee. You've neatly done your garter on that side, and we'll just demonstrate how the cording's way of doing this. You pull your sock up over, the, over that buckle, and then you put your garter on like that. So it just is above the buckle. Do your garter up once, twice, and pull the sock down so that your garters are just showing at the outside. And then you pull the trousers neat and tidy, and you get that nice effect. So you're wearing what Cordings is all about, the cover coat. And we're credited with being the originators of the cover coat. Now, there are lots of special things about the cover coat. It's this nice colour, or funny colour you might say, because horsehair doesn't show up on it. These rings here, they are a signature of bravery and aggression. And what happened was that this was a hunting coat and they'd get a tear on the arm, so they'd go to their tailor and they'd just sew a ring round to just keep it intact. So the more repairs and rings you had around your arm, the braver and the more aggressive you were. Cordings as a whole is somebody who wears their labels on the inside, so you won't see any logos or things on the outside of the garments, but we've got some nice little secrets on the inside of the garments that we hopefully feel are understated and only you know about. Yes, yeah. This is a three-button jacket, what we call a hacking jacket. It's very traditional. Um, mm -hmm. It has a ticket pocket. Now, that ticket pocket derived from uniform, and it was where they kept the fuse, which was the one bit um, of your equipment that had to be dry. So that was why it was, there was a little separate pocket for it. You're wearing a pair of our very smart cords. Mm -hmm. They evolve in many colours, and um, you've very cleverly picked out um, this colour in your jacket as well, which makes it a nice contemporary look, um, but with a heritage product. Ah, you're in the Riding Macintosh, another iconic product from Cordings. This Macintosh was originated by Mr. Macintosh and Mr. Cordings. It's made of cotton and natural rubber, and the cotton is squeezed through a mangle, and so it absorbs all the natural rubber. You can see that it has the, the leg strap, and that is part of the heritage um, of the garment, and it, the idea was that you tied it round your leg on both sides right. and it stopped it flying off when you were riding along on your horse. This really was the, the barber or the Gore-Tex um, of the 1900s. Mm -hmm. So if you take that off, you can see underneath you've got a suit on, three button suit um, with a single vent at the back. We do several very classic suits, herring bones, bird's eyes, mm -hmm. plain charcoals and we're a great destination for people to come and buy work suits.
This waistcoat you've got on, the merino wool waistcoat, which sets off the suit very nicely. This cloth has been sourced in, in Yorkshire from a very famous worsted cloth mill. The tie and the shirt, all from Cordings, and if you open the jacket you'll see that um, all our garments have our own label on them. What an amazing day. <laughs> uh, Noel has taken me through some wonderful outfits and explained uh, lots of uh, the, the, the details uh, about these outfits, which I had no idea about, plus twos, fours, etc. Uh, 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 ticket pockets and, uh, and the multi-seams on, on, on the jackets uh, for wear and tear for the bad boys. And uh, <laughs> it, it's been truly amazing and uh, very well looked after and, uh, and obviously smartened me up uh, no end. So uh, absolutely wonderful. Thank you.